Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to create a web form in GetResponse. You will need a web form to collect the information that your subscribers submit on your squeeze page. So, in order to create a web form, you go to web forms on the top here and you click on create new. And as you can see, this is the place you can customize your form to add or remove the field that you, you want or don't want to be on your form. For example, I want to remove the name field. I want my form to have the email field only. So I go down here and I click on the name button here. And as you can see, the name field will disappear. Now, for example, I want to, to add phone number field to the form. How can I do that? I go at the right menu here and click on custom fields. And I search for the phone field. It's here. And now I click and drag the phone field to the form. Either below, below or above the email field. I choose to place the phone field below the email. Now as you can see my form has two fields, email and phone. So I'm happy with the form, with the information I want to collect on the form. I click on next step. Now in this page you are able to customize your thank you page. Either you use the default thank you page created by get response or you can use your your own thank you page URL. For example you want to to have a personal note to your subscribers you can create a thank you page and place the URL of that thank you page in this box. In this case I just use the thank you page created by get response. And one more important thing the subscription via Facebook to off. Okay. Now we go to next step. Okay, so this is where you get the code to put on your website. You need to click on show HTML code. This code is JavaScript and it will not work with WP Plus. So I click on show HTML code here. And this is the code you want to copy and paste into a WP Plus email box. So I copy the code, and this is the WP Plus squeeze page creator. I go to code and click on email. I paste the code here and click outside. As you can see now. The squeeze page now has two fields just like in the autoresponder code. 